Hey guys, welcome back to Underground Diecast. This is your friend Harshad, and today I'm going to talk about a very interesting diecast brand called Ertel. Ertel has been a very famous name in diecast world in the 90s and early 2000s. It's a very old diecast brand. Initially, in the 1940s, when they started making them, they used to focus on farm toys. But I think in the 90s uh, they started making muscle cars and they became very popular. Today, Ertel has discontinued its production of muscle cars, but these models are still available in the market, especially in eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Most of the times, you won't see any brand new models; they would all be pre-owned models. But you can definitely expect to find them. Okay. So this video is going to focus on Ertel brand and what different kinds of variety Ertel produce over its product production years, and what you can expect uh, from this kind of uh, diecast cars, right? So just to make one thing very clear, Ertel uh, primarily made entry-level diecast models, and uh, they had. I would say broadly four different kinds of varieties in terms of quality, and uh, Ertel typically is known as an entry-level diecast, uh, but they did make make very good quality uh, higher-end variants also, which I will talk about in this video. Okay, so first let's have a look at level one quality, which is the entry-level. So the level one quality, I would say, is these green boxes. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. The body style, the color is all awesome. Um, the the part where they have done a compromise is uh, typically the interior of the cars, the diecast models. They are all plastic, and if you open the engine bay and you see the in engine details, uh, you will find very basic details over there. So if you see this green box. And this black box with the gray scale, uh, not scale, a strip. Uh, you can imagine that the level of quality would be uh, similar. I would say. Okay, so this would be the level one. Uh, I can just quickly show you how the level one looks like. I don't have all the level qualities to show you, but I do have a level one. So let me quickly take you to the garage all right so this is the level one uh, quality uh, auto diecast model as you can see it's a very nicely made model no doubt about it as far as the interior is concerned as you can see it's all plastic made but there is a good tone kind of thing also so it's a nice detail but if you look at the seats and everything uh, you know uh, the bottom of the uh, seat it's all plastic it's dust it's not a carpet actually it's dust uh, sorry about that uh, but here you can see that the seats are all plastic uh, nothing wrong with it it's a very entry-level uh, model right so nothing to complain and the other thing i can quickly show is the engine details which i just spoke about so it's it's there it's all there the basic components are there but there are no details in it. It's very basic. So nothing wrong with basic. Uh, if you can find a beautiful diecast model and you want to buy it, you like it, you should definitely take it, right? But uh, from an exterior standpoint, they are nice looking models. Uh, but the lack of details is what uh, makes the uh, diecast as level one. Okay, so let's move to the level two. All right, so let's talk about the level two. So if you stumble upon these kind of black boxes, I would say these were slightly newer boxes and I would categorize them into the you know, level two category uh, of quality. Here you can see, you know, it look, at, look how beautiful this model looks like, right? So obviously this is, uh, the exterior is very beautifully made and the tire details are a lot more uh, you know amazing it has a vinyl top the interior is still similar but i would say uh, look at the you know the, the mirror 
mirror side mirror so many details are there right so overall this is a slightly higher quality than level one and uh, these are typically um, they are still Ertel collectibles uh, here if you see here they are also Ertel collectibles these are also Ertel collectibles but I feel the black boxes are a slightly higher quality so I would categorize them into um, level 2 okay I don't have an example out in the open to show you but uh, it is what it is so let's move on to level 3 okay so the level 3 uh, is the elite edition or tools these are limited edition models uh, so that what it means is they produce only a finite number of models so if you see here it was one of 2500 so these are highly desirable and highly collectible uh, in terms of value and in terms of quality so uh, just to give an example uh, if you see here you can see two tones right a little bit of chrome and beige and there's some additional detail over there in the back so obviously the details are a little bit higher on these level 3 category elite edition turtle models so if you happen to stumble upon these i would highly recommend you to just get them i mean turtle in general if you get at a good price you should just buy them irrespective of the quality because they are not producing them anymore so having any turtle die cast makes a world of difference in your collection uh, and i think they are uh, reasonable in prices uh, compared to auto art and uh, those big brands right so yeah so this was the level three the elite edition so we saw uh, auto collectible edition which is the basic brand uh, it had two kinds of uh, varieties uh, or three kinds of varieties then we have this level 2 the black box with the golden American muscle hurdle collectibles right and this was the level 3 and I believe they also produce a slightly higher variant of uh, close to a premium quality uh, version and that was this American muscle authentics and this was a very um, the highest end I would say in the Ertel brand uh, so if you happen to get these authentic uh, variants of these Ertel cars uh, you should definitely definitely uh, go for it okay so let me do one thing for a change I will open this box and show you the highest level Ertel and what it really means right so see you soon hey guys welcome back so let me show you how a premium authentic turtle looks like and we have a basic entry level uh, it's not bad at all it's just that what features you get with the authentic variant of turtle die cast I will talk about now so this is the 57 thunderbird as you can see the finishes are absolutely stunning it looks showroom car absolutely beautiful very nice finishes right so let's start off with the tire itself here if you want to compare with the basic it has chrome and the tire here we have chrome and then we have this white strip and then we have this red hub cap and then the nice rubber tires lot more premium details absolutely gorgeous looking then important distinction uh, is the front grille it's all metal not plastic and it has actually a grid uh, I don't know if you are able to make it out but it's actually hollow it's not single plastic it's chrome it appears to be metal so very nice uh, touch over there as far as the logo emblems are concerned they are em 
embossed actual logos they are not printed which is amazing then we have this antenna right it goes up and down it goes up beautiful this air intake i think this is air intake uh, this also opens up uh, i'm holding the camera so i don't want to open it up uh, the fuel uh, refill cap also i believe opens let's see i think it does open right see it does open most of the entry level turtles don't have a opening back trunk but this back trunk opens and it has exquisite details in it here you can see inside it looks so amazing so there's a spare tire we have a tool to change the tire i guess and a nice detail so they have taken really really good care in finishing this model uh, you can really see then important thing right we have look at the level of detail you can actually see the wires and engine and so many details amazing it's just incredible level of detail so this is a very premium edition kind of a authentic variant very cool and let me show you one thing quickly can you see that <laughs> amazing so obviously you get what you pay for uh, in this situation amazing let me open the hood as well uh, the Look at the details. Amazing. So we have even the carpet has, uh, I believe, a textured feel to it. It doesn't look like a plastic. Look, it, it's actually a carpet material. Amazing. And then the seats are also two-tone. They are still plastic, unfortunately, but they they look like a seat material. Uh, if you see the finishing and everything they actually look like the seat even the steering wheel has two tones it has uh, beautiful embossed finish the logo in between the dash is also very premium looking amazing it almost looks like an actual car almost so overall it's an amazing Thunderbird authentic and it is the highest uh, version I believe I have come across by our tool. so this was a fair comparison or a quick comparison between a entry level and the highest level authentic hurdle so not all hurdles are same as you just saw and uh, we do see premium quality in hurdle brand as well so won't be really fair to be honest to say that all hotels are entry level right so this was it a fair comparison and a variety of uh, quality by hotel from level 1 to level 4 this is definitely the level 4 the highest quality hotel i have come across so i hope this video really helped you in understanding hotel brand a little bit better and hopefully you will take the learning out of it and apply it on your collectible journey and please like share and subscribe my channel i will keep posting different brands this was the beginning of the journey so i'm going to cover as many brands i can come across in different varieties uh, within that same brand and i'll try to classify them uh, based on their quality as well okay guys so thank you very much take care and see you soon in another video which will definitely come very soon so take care and ciao bye bye